So I find doing this even now talking to you to be a little bit nerve wracking. And I don't know why, because it's like we're all kind of just talking to a screen. But one of the things that makes me laugh is that you never talk to yourself on a screen, right? So you can actually see yourself talking. So one of the things is just to kind of let that be and don't talk to yourself. Talk to a friend going through this or someone that's going to watch this that you may never know. That's the first thing. So the second thing is think about the light around you. I want you to take a look at where I chose to put the camera. So what you can see is that you can hear me. It's as quiet as I can find a place. And then there's some color and some light. We found that some people, if they have a lot of light that's really bright right behind their head or above their head, they can look like they're in the witness protection program. So we don't want you to do that. We also want to see your smiling face. The other part is people are like, I want to look perfect. And I want to say that this isn't what this project is about. This is about real people doing amazing things and facing challenges and communicating. So do not worry about what, you know, your hair looks like or if you have, you know, the perfect makeup, although I did put on lipstick, so I understand. Um, but the other thing I want to say is let's say you did something and you go, I don't like this at all. This technology lets you stop and review and then redo the video if you so want to do it as many times as you want before you move on to the next prompt. So know that there'll be prompts above you and you can choose to choose the prompts you want to do. So if there's a prompt that we're offering you that you go, that's not my story, just don't worry about it. Just skip that one. And then you will have a short set of prompts that will show up at the top. And these are the ones you've chosen. You answer these. And if you do the first one and it feels a little awkward, totally fine. Stop it. Redo it. The most important thing is to approve it before you move on to your next prompt. At the end, all of these will seem together and it'll look like you made this wonderful share from beginning to end of all the important things that you wanted to share. So I've had the privilege of talking to and listening to over 100 people who've made these videos and they've told us a lot of tips. So I want to share them with you. So the first thing is you have to decide, do you want to do this on your computer or on your phone? Either one is totally possible. And then you have to decide, do I want to do it inside or in my car? Interestingly enough, we've had a lot of people who've chosen to do it in their car. And if you have great light and it's quiet, you can do this any place you feel comfortable. Uh, just remember if you're like lying on your bed and looking over like you would do with your friend or a FaceTime call or something, it might look a little weird. Uh, so that's just something to think about. For privacy reasons, I'd recommend that you only use first names of people involved with your situation, that you don't identify your transplant center, and that you don't put anything in the background that might identify your email or phone number. Okay, so now that we have all the practical stuff figured out, you know what you're going to wear, you know what the background is, the light's great, you know, and you've tried it once and you're a little bit over your nervousness. The question is, what do you want to say? And this isn't for me to say, this is for you to think about being a friend or a coach or someone telling the truth to somebody else who would really appreciate it. And what I would really recommend is to think about going back to the time where you were at the beginning or you were in the middle trying to choose what was right for you to do or your family to do. And to then walk someone through that from that point, which is probably from where they're listening from to where you are now and show them what you've learned from here to here. Uh, and be as real as you want to be, be funny, you know, tell stories, all that stuff that you do just sitting around a dining room table or, you know, with your friends, you know, laughing or crying sometimes, but just like, this is what it's really like. Another thing that's really important to decide before you get going is how many of the prompts you want to talk about. So I want you to know it's not better to do more prompts. The, the prompts are offered as a starting point for you to jump off into your own story. So different people are like, oh, I love that prompt or this one's not true for me. Totally fine. Just go through at the beginning when we invite you to choose what you want to talk about and pick some. We found that people who pick less actually do a little bit better because then they can say, I've picked eight prompts that are the key parts of my story. And then the videos are about five to 10 minutes. The other piece that I didn't understand before I did this right here with you is that sometimes when you're redoing different prompts, it can take longer. So you want to give it some time. So pick a time where you're alert and fresh and this is kind of fun. And you could even have somebody right outside the view that's rooting you on. Thank you.